how do we protect our children and how do we answer our children's questions when it's a matter of how are we going to keep them safe? Dozens of concerned parents and Fairhaven community members want answers. That's why Hannah McMillan came. The mom has two kids in the district. It's an area that I've decided to settle in and I'd just like to make sure that it stays safe. Law enforcement and lawmakers heard concerns Saturday, a day after Jack Sawyer was released on $10,000 bail, with the case against him crumbling. Sawyer is voluntarily in a mental institution and can technically sign himself out. It's a collaborative approach from uh, elected officials to uh, state police and, and local police, uh, the school resource officer. And the legislature is rewriting the definition of an attempt of a crime, rushing to finish it before the end of this session. Everything he did would have fallen into the attempt law where it didn't in the statute that we've got today. People walked away with copies of what the state is doing right now. But one question asked what happens in the long term after Jack Sawyer gets out and public interest possibly falls out. The community needs to take this as a priority, which they do here, and continue to push that with their elected officials. Something McMillan will be sure to keep in mind. We will just have to take it a day at a time. In Fairhaven, Tom Garris, NBC5 News.